welcome back to my channel thank you very much for always coming out here if you have not subscribed please kindly do and don't forget to give us a thumbs up also click the follow button for more updates thank you very much i do appreciate sunday Igbo issued strong warning to politicians threatens legal action against media outlets yoruba freedom fighter and activist chief sunday adeyomo aka sunday Igbo, has issued a strong warning to politicians who have been trying to dissuade him from his fight against fulani terrorists in the southwest he also warned various news outlets in the country who have been circulating or confirmed reports about him Igbo, who, sing, who singled out and footed a report by the nation, nation newspaper that he can finish all Boko Haram without the help of government, said he will begin to take legal action against any media platforms who made an all confirmed report about him. An aide who spoke on this be, behalf in a video shared online said this is to inform all the media houses in Nigeria and outside of the country to be very careful about making any serious allegations or reporting news that Sunday Igbo has not passed on through me to any media outlets. It debunked the nation reported that Sunday Igbo said he can fought where he can fight Boko Haram on, on the behalf of the government, saying his fight is not against Boko Haram but against Fulani terrorists that had been perpetrating uh, crimes on the Yoruba people across the southwest. Speaking further, he said this message is also directed to every politicians and those that have been sending uh, uh, calling testing whatsapping that he will not tolerate any of such and if care is not taken if care is not taken uh, he will begin to mention names so that the Yoruba people will we begin sorry the Yoruba people all over the world we know those who have been trying to reach out to him to back down from what he is fighting for directing this message again to various media platforms he said if they are not sure of the news they should reach out to them for confirmation he warned that any news outlet that reports a news that is not confirmed by sunday blue will be charged to court or all that and Nigerians have reacted to this. Somebody said uh, what do you expect next after all you put uh, yourself in the media in the first place? See, just like what Kemi Ululoye said last week, he said Sunday we have to be very very careful because there are some persons who will just come to find out ways from his mouth, Pium, they will use it against him. That Sunday Bowie is a federal target for now. That is telling Sunday Bo, you know, you have to, he's telling her, he's telling him because uh, she's talking from experience that Sunday Bo should know how to talk, know people, you know, uh, uh, that he welcome, you know, to interview him and all that because <laughs> this country is not actually what you think it is. These politicians, you, you feel that your, that your brothers, that your sisters, most of them that have already. So their conscience, you know, to the devil. Take, 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 don't take. You get it. So, and they want to, you know, protect their position by doing whatever thing they feel they can do to protect that position. So, some they will have to be very, very careful because so many of them are using, you know, whatever he says out, you know, to write against him and all that. Okay, someone said, yeah, Nigerian media is the number one major problem. We have, if you said so, I don't doubt it. Okay, someone said that you are right to that the one that deal uh the that deal with the major problem that fair crisis with their prints without confirmation is not today they started and not until one of the media houses is prosecuted to serve as 
you know, example to others, they will not stop for uh, uh, doing all these that are fake and not confirming. National should have to be very, very careful. Okay, someone said that the nation, okay, it's nation, the nation is owned by Tinubu now. What else do you expect from the papa? <laughs> you know now. The nation is owned by Tinubu, so what else do you expect from the paper? Those Yorubas, this, uh, this encouraging Igbo are, are of 2023 stock and are ready to still and do anything to make sure that they get to that place and to do anything for this Hausa Fulani people. They know that, they know that Nigerian sol uh, solution does not lie in 2023. Yoruba presidency, they only cared for themselves and their families. They are just self-centered. Okay, someone said, yes, Sunday Babu, now you cannot see that you have so many enemies. You understand? You have to be very careful with uh, the words of your mouth and how you train because uh, Nigerian government is looking for a way, you know, to catch up with you and all that. Do you think they are happy? because of what you are doing in the southeast okay yeah now talking about being happy or happy of what he is doing and all that is left for them that is the gospel truth they are the cause of all these things because they left their responsibilities to an individual you know to carry on what do you expect yeah this a kind a sunday bowl kind <laughs> Is is not you cannot get you can't get one in a century, you understand? Somebody that just like I just sacrifice I, I want to sacrifice my life to my people. He's not even talking about money. Even those people that is contributing money, he said he doesn't need their money. That that is not his his aim. His aim is just to protect his people from this killer fula fulani yes men and all that. Anyways, the Nigerian government should try and see how. They control all these things by sending this fuller, fulani killer, uh, be killer fulani henchmen back to, to where they are coming from or where they came from, because they refuse to stay in peace. So hello guys, I'm gonna drop it here for now. What's your view on this Sunday? Will issue strong warning. To you?